Good evening. What's going on there, folks? It is the Earthmaster here on this Sunday evening. September 12th is the date, 2021. About 10.30 p.m. West Coast time in California. The latest quake on the USGS map here on the globe is a 4.8 right around the Japan area. We are getting a notification of a 6.0 earthquake into the Argentina region right now. Uh, in fact, here on the emscsem.org website shows the 6.0 earthquake around the Argentina region just striking within about the last 10 minutes. So we're kind of keeping an eye on that uh, from the USGS eight minutes ago, that uh, 6.0 striking at about 148 kilometers below surface. So we'll see what the USGS uh, issues as uh, soon as they get... Uh, that event notification sent in here. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll go ahead and cover some activity around the globe uh, until then, including some activity around the Nevada region kicking up. Out there around Tonopah once again. Let's go ahead and bring the all magnitudes in. You can see that earthquake activity kicking up pretty uh, significantly today. 3.0 looks to be uh, pretty, uh, well, it actually had a 3.7 earlier, so definitely heightened earthquake activity right now in that little area that crosses the uh, uh, Highway 3 out there around the Candelaria Hills. Interesting area. Uh, also some further movement once again at the Pacific Northwest. Uh, keep checking down here as well as the Cascadia subduction zone down at the southern end once again just right around the Northern California area. Some pretty deep movement here at the southern end of the Cascadia Mega Thrust area, 2.5 and a 2.4, 30 kilometers for that 2.5. So it's pretty uh, significantly deep movement in that area. Also movement into the Pacific Northwest kicking up once again around the Cascade Volcanoes, Mount St. Helens and some activity just outside of Mount Rainier. Also uh, a little bit of activity up here in the mountains. Uh, some pretty deep movement looking at Basically, look at all this activity in the Pacific Northwest. A lot of deep activity from Northern California all the way northward. I'm going to go out on a limb and think that uh, the trimmer is going to be pretty active uh, once we check that out here. So we'll do that in just a little bit. Uh, some movement down south into the Ridgecrest area as well. Just looks like overall general activity along the west coast picking up um, over the last 24 hours. Got a little earthquake down here, 1.5 on the Pacific Plate um, side of this plate boundary. No more swarming activity in the Salton Sea. In fact, earthquake activity in the San Jacinto, San Jacinto Fault area looks pretty quiet, folks. Looks really quiet. But uh, overall, general activity to the nor north kind of ramping up a little, folks. So, Redding had a little earthquake there, Palisadro. 14 kilometers deep movement there as well uh let's see let me kick this up i'm sure it's i don't know usgs is super duper slow when it comes to uh um getting earthquake notifications out let's see what this okay looks like these guys dropped it down to a 5.8 we'll see what the usgs brings this in uh pecos texas getting in on some further activity West Coast lights up. Seems like the inland area around the Texas and Oklahoma area tends to pick up as well. A couple threes. Looks like a 3.9 kicking up around the Pecos, Texas area. Pretty uh, good size one for that area. And a couple other small ones in the vicinity. Also outside of uh, Snyder, Texas. Looks like a little earthquake activity, including a 3.6. Texas getting in on some uh, quite a few threes recently including the New Madrid area. We'll check that out here in a second. Up north of Enid, Texas, a little bit of uh, earthquake activity. Fair, fairly shallow, about four kilometers or so. I'm guessing that's gonna be some fracking operation earthquakes. There's the uh, New Mad, kind of close to the New Madrid area, a 3.0 earthquake around the Tennessee area. That's uh, kind of right smack dab in the uh, major seismically hazard area known as the new madrid system right there so gonna watch that we've been seeing a little earthquake activity over the last week 
But the three-pointer, definitely a, a little increase in the magnitude there uh, today. What else we got uh, over the last 24? Uh, still waiting on the USGS, man. Those guys are slow as a turtle. Sometimes I think turtles are actually pretty fast. Uh, Samoa, the south of Samoa. 5.2 earthquake, 172 kilometers below the surface. Yeah, what else we got? Japan rocking and rolling a little. Just off the coast of Tokyo. What have we got? 5.1, uh, 436 kilometers into that trench below the trench i should say a pair of earthquakes right around the 46 kilometer range just off the coast of japan as i mentioned looks like diminishing earthquake activity over here even though that even though this one's just occurred within the last hour uh see how this one turned yellow so that's pretty much beyond the uh, 24 hour period <clears throat> So diminishing earthquake activity over here, it looks like, while the west coast and inland into the states and South America getting in on the, the uh, flip-flop, teeter-totter type action. Uh, a little earthquake off the coast, Guatemala region, into the Middle America Trench, it looks like, 4.6. Some earthquake activity along the South America region, including pretty deep uh, 4.2 into the Argentina area. Like I said, we're still waiting on that uh, latest earthquake to strike, or at least show up on the uh, USGS map. Looks like that, uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here on the EMSC web website. Do, 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 do. Kind of choppy, not good. Where, hey, wait a minute, where did it go? That's just kind of odd. Anyway, it looks like it's about in the same area where the uh, deeper earthquake activity occurred here earlier today. Um, this here still shows uh, 155 kilometers for the depth of that earthquake. This earthquake, yeah, a little bit deeper into the subduction zone. South America has been relatively quiet when it comes to uh, uh, large earthquakes in the recent just recent time. South Sandwich Islands, uh, 5.1, uh, 45 kilometers it looks like. Also some movement oh, stretching up across um, Iran. Pretty good size earthquake out there, 5.1. Not a super big one, but a five-pointer. People will definitely fill. And some further movement around Afghanistan it looks like. And off into um, India area. Let's check out the Yellowstone seismograph stations real quick and uh, see what's not going on. Not a whole lot going on, to be honest. A little bit of movement uh, here looks at, like in the northwest corner of the park. Maple Creek, Holmes Hill, Purple Mountain all seen a little earthquake activity. A little, sig not a significant, but a localized earthquake there. Pretty small microquake. And another one uh, kicking off down here. But uh, no swarming at the moment. Just a couple of sporadic small microquakes kicking up in that area check out the trimmer depart um, you know what this is kind of shocking with all that deeper movement and uh, the earthquake activity at the southern end of the cascadia in northern cal zero trimmers i mean it just seems odd been watching this for quite a while and normally when we see the surface quaking at the volcanoes or at least a deeper movement and the activity that we've been seeing around the cascadia uh, normally we'd be lighting up with trimmers, but this is what, like day number two, day number three of nothing? That's just a little odd. That's, uh, I say it's really odd, actually. So, all right, well, USGS is going to take their sweet, lovely time on issuing that earthquake. Uh, but we'll go with the CS, uh, EM, EMSC website on this earthquake here. 5.8 Argentina. Latest quake, uh, pretty good size one, but uh, also pretty deep. The source parameters have not yet been reviewed by seismologists. This was originally a 6.0, so we'll see. Uh, like I said, we'll see what the USGS wants to put out. All right, folks, we're going to call it night. I didn't get a chance to get the, uh, to the images today. been barbecuing and uh, whatnot, uh, enjoying the, the uh, afternoon and evening. 
but uh, we'll get to that uh, sometime tomorrow. In the meantime, stay safe out there, folks. Have a great night. We will chat you guys another time. Peace out.